the man that ESPN likes to call the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, made his ESPN top rank debut on June 15, 2019 against 25-year-old German Tom Schwartz. It was a complete mismatch. Tyson Fury danced around Tom Schwartz. He switched his southpaw and knocked him out in the second round. And guess what? Not a lot of people cared. There were about 1,200 complimentary tickets given away for that fight. Sold less than 5,400 real tickets. The KO, even though it was spectacular, garnered Tyson Fury zero new American fans. And now, according to Barbarum, Fury will be back in the ring in September in Las Vegas, likely on the 14th or the 21st of September. And they have a hand-picked opponent, possibly already selected. And that is 33-year-old St. Louis, Missouri's Prince Charles Martin. Martin is a southpaw that stands at 6'5 and has an 80-inch reach with a pro record of 27 wins, 2 losses, and 1 draw. One to Anthony Joshua in 2016. The other to Adam Babyface Kawanaki in 2018. If you look at Martin's opponents, the majority of them do not have good records. The guy he fought immediately after the Anthony Joshua fight was Brian Poley. His record, 30 wins, 20 losses. The guy he fought immediately after the Adam Kaunaki defeat was 38-year-old journeyman Gregory Corbin. And in that fight, Corbin showed his skill by being disqualified for repeated low blows. I know it sounds like I'm knocking Charles Martin, but let's be honest, he's not yet on the level, or he may never be on the level of Tyson Fury. That's why Top Rank is handpicking him as an opponent. This is going to be another Tom Short situation for Tyson Fury. Same thing, nobody knows who Charles Martin is, even though he has 27 wins. He's a relatively unknown fighter. It's not going to bring in new fans to watch this fight. They're not going to make tons of money from this fight. What Top Rank wants, what ESPN wants, is another highlight real KO so they can sell Tyson Fury as the best heavyweight in the world. So they can sell Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder too. Which, by the way, would be his third and final fight under his ESPN slash Top Rank contract. 